Chris Algieri. Welcome to the Champion Lifestyle. Champion Lifestyle. Today we're talking about boxing 101, how to use the maze ball. This is called the maze ball um, or a teardrop bag. You might see this in, in boxing gyms. Um, you know, it's connected by a big long chain usually to the ceiling. And the idea here, this is this is a bag for rhythm, timing, and for defense. Okay? So, first thing you do, get it spinning, get it moving, okay? And the idea here is I'm gonna stay off that center line where that bag is. Okay? This may look easy, I assure you it's not. And the first time you use this, you will get hit with it. This particular one's pretty pretty damn hard, so I definitely don't want to get hit with it today. But I start the swing, I step forward, I get into where I'm just underneath the attachment up top, and from there, I'm moving my head. Okay? I want to maintain, keep my hands the best way I can. Initially, just get the timing and the rhythm of the bag, and just stand and, and, and get comfortable with when the bag is coming to just move out of the way. Okay? Ideally, I don't want to be static, in which I mean I'm standing still, the bag comes, I move. I want to be moving throughout the entire time. It's just like in a ring, a body in motion stays in motion, and I don't want to be waiting for the punch because I'm going to get beat to the punch. Okay? So my movement's always going, I can move as the bag comes, I'm always moving, I make a quick move to make sure I don't get hit, but I'm still moving in between. Okay? I'm rolling underneath. As you get more comfortable with this, you can start act actually using your footwork too. I can step with the bag, step outside the range of the bag, move, upper body rhythm, and stepping with the feet. I can work on really using my upper body rhythm without my hands moving, moving. I can work with my hands nice and high in a more peekaboo style. I can use the Mayweather. High shoulder, work my, my distance and range from here, my defense, moving my feet slightly, making little adjustments. When you really get comfortable with this, you can even use it offensively. And for punch, I can punch with the bag, make my head movement. As I throw the punch, there's defense involved, my head goes offline. I can use it for countering opportunities. The bag's coming out, counter with my, my left hook. I'm picturing their, their left hand. Beat him to, beat him to it. I'm picturing their right hand. I'm beating him to it. Okay? The great thing about this bag is it's about rhythm and timing. The rhythm of the bag changes as it slows. Okay? And even as we're going right now, you're going to notice the bag is taking smaller arcs, slower arcs. So as that's happening, I need to realize that the rhythm is changing as well. If I keep the same head rhythm the whole time, I'm going to get hit. Just like if you're in a ring with a savvy veteran, these guys will change up their rhythm so they can they can catch you. Okay, so being aware of rhythm changes and being able to change on the fly is an important aspect of boxing.